Hi everybody, welcome to another edition of Vineyard Roads. Today we are heading to Magnanini in Walk Hill, New York, and I actually looked up a little history on Magnanini. Okay. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> Would I? <laughs> Back in 1965, Galba Magnanini, who's the founder, originally from Bologna, Italy, went to Europe and saw Americans drinking wine like it was going out of style. So he came back and by 1970 had planted his first crop of grapes right here in Walk Hill. By 1983, he had established his winery, Magnanini Winery. By 1984, they produced their first 1,000 gallons of wine. Today, they make about 6,000 gallons a year. 1985, they opened their restaurant and serve all homemade Italian dishes, mostly from the Bologna region of Italy. The winery is a family-run operation for sure. Galba started it, his son Richard now runs it with his wife Rachel, and their two sons are also now involved, Robert and David. So it is truly three generations of Magnaninis that run this winery. We've been there before. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. So we're gonna go back today and film it and share it with you guys. I'm just gonna add that it is part of the Shawangunk Wine Trail, um, but I don't see anything on their website about doing tastings today. Um, we'll ask them when we get there, see if we can get one, um, if they offer anything. The only menu items I saw were their food items on the website and then a list of their bottles of wine. And they do have like uh, all kinds of events. They do a big sig six course dinner with music. Um, they do Friday night pasta nights with music. Right. Today they'll have music as well. Uh, so yeah, there's, Steve there's Black a lot is going on. Today. Steve Black. I looked him up as well and he looks very good. I can't wait to hear him play. Should be fun. Yeah. So here we go. Magnanini does offer a wine tasting. It is a flight of five different tastings um, for $15. But Jack went over and stood online. You have to go into a separate building if you want to do the tasting. It's actually like a trailer or a truck, and they give you the tray with the tasting in it. But the wait was a little long, and our flatbread pizza had arrived. So um, we decided we're going to just get two glasses of wine so I got the Saval Blanc and Jack got the did you end up getting Marquette, Marquette. Yep. okay and we had liked Marquette at another winery and it was a new wine for us so we wanted to try that one today too and kind of compare the music is really good the weather's really nice it's starting to fill in where people are coming in so um, we'll try the wine yeah it's, it's good it's nice summer wine I wish it was a little bit colder, but it probably warms up pretty quickly out here, so, um, but it is really good. I like it. As Janine said, I have the Marquette, which we're probably going to end up sharing these anyway, but. Yes. I like that. You can really, really taste the grape in that. It's really good. Nice and light. Smells really fruity. Love it. So I forgot to mention Galba's brother Renzo Magnanini still lives in Bologna, but he was commissioned by the Vatican to paint a piece for the Bologna Cathedral. And he was chosen out of thousands of artists to paint that piece and did so. So if ever you're over in Italy, Bologna, Italy, you can stop in their cathedral there and actually see that art. But Renzo Magnanini also uh, has contributed his art to the bottles here at Magnanini. He's, he's done the art for the labels. 
and he's also done some pieces that are here and we'll see if we can't find something here that he did. We are about to leave Magnanini Winery. We had we had a nice time. It's it's beautiful out. We almost don't want to leave, but we do have other things we have yeah, to do today. Unfortunately, um, the weather is beautiful. The music was really good. The yeah, wine. Big props to Steve Black. Yeah, he was really good. The wine was good. I think we enjoyed it. The the pizza was good. Not quite as good as the last That's one we true. had, but that happens. I think yeah. most places it's not you know. It was still good, and we ate it all, so it's Definitely. not like it was bad. It just wasn't quite as good as the, the time we had it last time. Right. Um, but really enjoyable afternoon. It was starting to fill in when we got here, but it didn't actually end up getting crowded, which we're surprised because it is a gorgeous day. It's probably in the mid-70s. There's a light breeze. So no it's, humidity. Yeah, finally. so it's warm and sunny, but it's not too warm. It's, it's really beautiful, so um, kind of surprised that there aren't a lot more people here, but it's definitely like maybe two or three bridal parties are here, but they are in different they were ended up going into some of the buildings nearby that they have for I think they use those for maybe for other tasting events. Yeah. Um, I think big parties they put in a separate they, location. They give them separate locations, yeah. So um, yeah there's a lot here. I think they do weddings here too, probably big parties, special events. They definitely have special dinners here. Friday so. night, every Friday night is pasta night. Yeah, Homemade but pasta. Even that they have like other special events so you have to just keep um, looking at their website because they'll have dinners once in a while that are big, really big events yep. um, and they do welcome you to walk around in the vineyards um, in fact when I went up to get our wine they actually said oh have you seen have you been out in the grapes yet you feel free to walk around so. right and we saw people bringing their chairs down to uh, I think if you follow the path down yeah, there's the a big just a nice big lawn big that you can field. sit on so they were they were in a, their own large group so they probably just wanted to spread out instead of sitting at the picnic tables or under one of the umbrellas where we were before so you have a lot of different um, options here when you come definitely uh, and it really when the weather's like this and the music is so nice to listen to you know having a nice glass of wine it's like perfect yeah you just don't want to leave yeah <laughs> <laughs> really there's nothing else to say other than cheers, cheers.